Hi everyone, this is Ascended Twin 144K here to do a general collective message for the energies. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Like, commenting, and subscribing, and sharing with your family and friends. I'm going to cut down on the time of the video as much as possible by pre shuffling and laying the cards out. I cuss in my videos, so if you don't like that, please click off. I also do not read like every other tarot reader, so if you do not like that, please click off. Also, um, this can be past, present, or future energies. And for entertainment purposes, please do not make any life altering decisions based on a general collective reading. For private readings, I have the information listed for you in the description box below. So let's get on with it. We have the Six of Wands, we have the Emperor, we have the Ace of Swords, we have Death, we have the Hierophant, we have the Page of Dallas, we have the Illumination, we have Chariot, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have Justice, we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Chalices. Chalices is Leo energy, Swords is Aries Leo, Sagittarius is Fire energy, and Swords is Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius energy. And if I say it on fire, it's Aries Leo, Sagittarius, I'm sorry, that's Fire energy. Air energy is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Earth energy is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So, we have someone that's victory with Emperor Ossily. This Emperor could be Aries or Taurus. Someone could um, possibly move forward with them. They want to give them truth in the situation. They have went through a death and transformation, uh, death and rebirth in a situation um, to become more like a traditional person in a relationship. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. This is someone that uh, follows tradition has a certain structure to be someone that is in a long-term committed or married relationship. This can also be someone that is in, uh, deals with contracts, uh, makes major decisions. This could be a lawyer, a judge, or a police officer as well. We have the page of justice. So someone is wanting to offer love. To me, this is my baby card because there's a fish in a cup. Someone um, is finding out possibly that there's a pregnancy off or that someone is pregnant. They know it. We have illumina illumination next to the page of chalices and the chariot in between. So there is a question mark to highlight what needs to be illuminated in the situation. As we go through being clarified, we will get to the heart of the matter to have light on subject. We have the chariot card. So this is victory. Someone is going to move forward swiftly. There could possibly be distance between these people. Maybe there's a little water between them. Um, but the chariot card is cancer and it also represents travel. So someone could be traveling to someone to give them an offer in love. We have the page of pinnacles. So hopefully this will be a genuine offer. Although it's a very slow moving offer. But um, it is not as slow as its brother, the knight of pentacles. Now that joker moves slower than molasses in January. He just slow as hell. We have the Justice card, and the Justice could be someone is getting justice in a court situation, henceforth the Hierophant. It could very well be this Emperor that is going through this, where there is a child support situation at hand, possibly, or either the DNA results of a baby. So this could be karmic justice, blood is being shed in this situation, so when justice shows up, that is Libra energy too. Um, this could be a Libra that is experiencing justice or delivering justice in a situation. So we have the two of swords next to it. So here we go with the blind guy. Can't see clearly, can't make a decision. And it doesn't have to be a he. It can also be a she. But somebody needs to open their damn eyes and take a look, a hard look in a situation. And it could very well be this Libra, this Emperor, this Hierophant, this Scorpio, because this is Scorpio energy, this is Cancer energy, and to back it up yet again, we have the King of Chalices here. So maybe somebody needs to finally take the damn rose-colored glasses off and open up your damn eyes and take a look at what is going on in a relationship. So... The King of Chalices is someone that is intuitive. They're very highly intuitive. They're very gifted psychically. Also, this person is mature in their emotions. They do not wear their emotions on their sleeves. They um, internalize most of their emotions, and this can be a masculine or feminine energy. All of these people that are on the board or all the signs that I call can be in male or female energies. So... This king of chalices in the upright, because I don't do reversals, is very loving, very nurturing, very generous. He is, I say, Cancer out of Pisces and Scorpio. Um, he is the father or, well, the mother of the Zodiac. 
So um, this person is extremely loving and nurturing. They're also extremely emotional too. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of chalices. So someone has um, poured their emotions out of a situation. They are feeling lost. They are feeling regret. Um, someone may have made a bad choice in a situation. And let me rephrase that because I'm not here to judge anybody. Somebody um, made a decision that did not work out in their favor. So it left them in regret and remorse. They're very emotional about it, but they failed to realize that although they poured the three cups out, so this was a third party situation, there are still two cups remaining up there on top. So we're going to find out why. One card on the six of wands, please. We have the Ten of Wands, so there is no victory here. This is false pride, false ego. Somebody was operating out of fear um, while they were going through, because they could have, been, have very well been overwhelmed in a situation. So there will be no victory to be had here. Um, someone is tired of the burdens. They're ready for change to come through. They're ready for something different to happen. When the Ten of Wands shows up, this also is a completion of a cycle, and it is also a breakup. The next card that we have out is the Two of Chalices. So someone is in a soulmate or twin flame uh, situation. We have the Two of Chalices. That is a soulmate. That is a Someone that is very spiritually connected to you. And this Aries or Taurus has a soulmate. Or they could be in a soulmate union that is burdensome. And they want to release it. And the truth is going to come out. Or someone is about to speak their truth. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So someone is working hard to master something, possibly in a situation. We have the lovers. So the, the truth is coming out that someone very well wants to be in union with their twin. They are willing to go through a death and rebirth in order to go into union with their twin. Because the lovers is the Gemini card. There is an angel that is in that card. And it is also... A signification of a choice. So someone has made a decision to speak their truth about a union that they want. That is a twin flame card. Five of Pentacles. So someone is feeling left out in the cold while they're going through this transformation. Maybe they're losing all their family and friends, including their... Um, person that they want to be in a union with. So this is going to be a painful transition for this person because they are clearly feeling lost and bereaved in this. And we did see the five of chalices where someone felt regret and sorrow and the loss. And that also signifies pain in a situation. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So someone wants to walk through the door of value. They want a brand new beginning. They're willing to lay a stable foundation. Someone could also be getting a new start in life, a new start in a job, a new start in people, places, or things. Something start all the way around the board. Could be a fresh start with everything and everyone. We have three cards that came out. We have the five of chalices. So someone definitely is pouring out all their love in a long-term committed or married relationship. Could very well be the Taurus. Could very well be this emperor. Could very well be this king of chalice. A Libra. A Cancer. Or a Scorpio. Or a Gemini. Yeah. 
And I definitely want to say somebody definitely has earth in their chart because we have the emperor and the hierophant and they both have Taurus because the emperor um, is Taurus or Aries and also uh, the hierophant is definitely Taurus. So they could have a lot of this, what you see in their chart. This is why I say I list Cafe Astrology for you to learn. Also, we now have um, the divine counterpart to the masculine or the feminine that is in their masculine energy. We have the Empress. So the Empress has shown up in this situation. This could also be at this point, I will not say this, this is, um, this emperor's, um, counterpart, which he very well could be, but at this point, this could be the karmic soulmate to this emperor, and he is pouring out his emotions for this empress. They are no longer going to be in a relationship and we have another major arcana that is the world. So this cycle is being closed out in this karmic relationship. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine major arcana on the board. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of pentacles. So this is someone that is loving, nurturing, loyal, um, usually a mom or a father, someone that is looked up in their look up looked up to in their community, their society, and their social circle of friends. This person is generally very abundant and very nurturing. So they have their own money. They could almost be like the nine of wands. I'm sorry, the nine of pentacles. Very financially stable and independent. But this woman is generally, or this man is generally in a long-term commitment or marriage. And this could very well be that Empress, because the Empress has Libra, Aries, and Taurus. And Taurus is Earth energies in their chart. So we have the Four of Chalices on the Page of Chalices. So someone possibly does not know if this is the mother or father of their child you take the situation how it resonates they're very much in their head they have not accepted it but at this point it seems more like they're in denial that they have made a child outside of the union possibly could be the empress is the reason why she is pouring out her emotions in a situation because she cannot believe that her partner stepped out of the marriage stepped out of the long-term committed relationship and fathered or had got or got pregnant. So somebody is in denial and they are rejecting this um, possible baby. And they are very much in their head about it because swords is uh, air energy and air energy. This is thoughts. So someone is deeply in their head about this situation. They're having a lot of sleepless nights. They could be very well be depressed about this situation because if you look at this young man in this picture, he looks depressed. Get that as close as possible. He don't look happy. And that could be a male or a man or woman. But we have the nine of wands on illumination. So the illumination is that someone is very guarded and very defensive in a situation, possibly about communication to move forward, to take some level of action. Because the chariot represents movement, it represents action, um, to come forward in their divine union. So someone is indecisive and uncertain and guarded, heavily guarded and very wounded. So maybe the karmic partner that they were in a long-term marriage or committed relationship has done a lot of damage. This is a part of the lesson. That is there for them to heal their inner woundings from childhood to adulthood to where we are now. So the next two cards out are the Ace of Chalices. So someone wants to move swiftly and victoriously towards a new offer of love. 
And this is being offered in a divine connection. So someone has a divine connection that they have the opportunity to move forward in. Um, if I recall correctly, I think maybe, no, not the world of, mm, nope, this one, that's not in this one. That was in the other reading. My bad. We have the King of Pentacles. So this person could very well have Earth in their chart. Um, like the Queen of Pentacles. So this could possibly be someone's counterpart, male or female. It doesn't have to be male, but the King of Pentacles is someone that is very financially abundant. There's someone that is stable, grounded, married, long-term committed relationship, usually has children, doesn't necessarily have to, but they are the epitome of what you would call a family person. They are looked up in their societal circles People look to them because they are wealthy, knowledgeable, and stable, and grounded. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. So someone possibly wants a passionate move uh, to take a passionate movement forward. Because fire is action oriented, so someone may want to move passionately in this relationship. And if this person is not ready, then they would show up definitely as um, a Knight of Wands. But this is a Page of Wands. So this is a passionate, a, passing, a passionate message that is coming out to someone. Seems like my passion just fell off like a wet bag of dope on that one. We have two cards because I couldn't get the word out to save my soul. Um, we have two cards that came out for the Page of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Chalices. So someone wants to offer a small token of love as well as finances. Finances is going to be smaller, but the love is going to be a little more. So that could be the illumination as well about the love offer because it is clarified and highlighted next to the illumination card. But someone is guarded. Someone is fearful about offering this love. But they do want to come forward. I believe and I feel that they are trusting that this is being divinely guided as they are to come forward with what they have to offer. It may be a small offer, but it is an offer nonetheless. And we have the hermit. So this person could very well have earth, because this is Virgo, water, and earth again in their chart prominently doesn't have to be a man it doesn't have to be a woman whichever one take it how it resonates you know your story better than I do and this person is being guided so they have lit their lantern put a star in it and they are going on a journey within and that generally means they are walking alone they have detached from the rest of the world so they can Quiet themselves to get a inner guidance to move forward because they are looking for answers. And at the bottom of the deck, this is the four of pentacles. So someone needs to open their heart and get their mind off of money. They are more money motivated than they are emotionally motivated. So their heart chakra is blocked or closed off at this present time. And maybe that is what the journey is about to open up your heart despite what has taken place. We have the Queen of Wands. So someone is getting karmic justice or they are delivering karmic justice or they are delivering legal justice. Maybe this Queen of Wands could be in the legal department or the legal profession. Maybe this Queen of Wands could be getting her karma or giving karma. Someone has done me wrong. I want to give them karmic justice. I'm calling karmic justice on this person. So this queen could also very well have Libra or she could have fire. This Libra could have fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The queen of wands is a very charming, lovely woman to look at. Male or female, they could be very handsome. This is someone that is goal oriented very action motivated. Um, they're very determined. They're very aggressive. They go after what they want. They generally get it. This person can also be very loving, very nurturing. But this Queen of Wands can also be a mistress in the Zodiac. So this could possibly be the mistress 
or there could be more than one in this situation that caused a burden in a relationship, a long-term committed relationship. Henceforth, this could be the reason why the justice has been called because there is a child that is involved in this situation. And we have three cards that came out. We have <clears throat> the Knight of Knight of Swords, I'm sorry. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Seven of Wands. So someone is highly defensive and guarded about a situation that they are not seeing clearly. Someone is standing their ground. They are being very defensive about this situation. They are determined not to see it the way it needs to be seen. And on top of it, there is inner conflict along with this situation. And there is also harsh communication that is coming in on this two of swords. So someone might be getting their feelings hurt <clears throat> about not seeing something clearly. And they have a lot of conflict about it and harsh communication coming forward. We have the Page of Swords on the Knight, on the King of Chalices. So, someone is spying on this King of Chalices, or either the King of Chalices is spying on his counterpart. And at the bottom of the deck, this was the card I was mentioning before, um, the Ace of Pentacles. So, someone wants to walk through the door of value in a stable foundation. They want their being given a second opportunity or a new opportunity <clears throat> for uh, financial stability, or they could very well be getting a second chance and an offer for a foundation regardless in love and abundance. And all you have to do is walk through the door. This is earth energy. So this is stable. This is very grounded energy. And someone is spying to see if they still have an opportunity to walk through this door in love and finances with a counterpart. Because there has been a Ten of Pentacles relationship in the past where something was very stable financially, but it is now being dissolved. And someone is taking a much needed rest and they are being guided to move forwardly with passion and there is maybe uh, better yet someone is being uh, guided to temper their passions that's more what I should have been saying so let's get some angel messages on this reading please All of these major arcana, I'm going to pull three oracles on this reading. And we will read the last part at the bottom of the deck as always. Come on. Come on out. Okay. There we go. And at the bottom of the deck, we have gentleness. So we will read that last. The first one is clear audience. Archangel Zadkiel, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people, which would be appropriate. The next one is angel therapy. Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. That is also appropriate in this situation because someone is indecisive and they cannot see clearly. The next one is creative writing. Archangel Gabriel, 
make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen or article or book. That never hurts. You never know. That could be your door to value and abundance. Keep that in mind. Because you do have a passionate new beginning in love. Um, Archangel Sandalfon. Sandalfon, I'm sorry. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. And this is also appropriate as well. So guys, I hope this message resonated for someone. I never like to give or be the bearer of bad news, but um, the energies right now are very heavy. They're very intense. So I hope this reading did resonate to help someone in their situation and to get some angel messages to assist you on your journey. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your family, friends, and coworkers. And for their donations to my channel, again, Dollar Mark, Lovely 65 Cash App. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I love you, family. And welcome to all the new that come through. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye for now.